my best friend in basketball would be my dad, actually, because he coached me since I was really little. And we had a super tight bond because of that. And he coached me into high school as well. And we had some amazing teams. Um, we made it the farthest that my high school has ever made it. We had a really successful season. So we have always been super close because of that. He's very calm. So like he's very communicative and we had a really good um, open relationship. So we would be able to discuss things. It wasn't that typical like father-daughter relationship where you'd get really mad at each other and fight or anything. It was really, um, we're, I was kind of his eyes on the court and he would be very calm, be able to articulate really well. He's very smart. Um, so he was really, um, he knew a lot about the game and he was able to instill that in me. And I think that's why I've gotten to where I've been because he's able to offer all of his insight. Yeah, I mean, country is very popular in Colorado, but I'm definitely the furthest thing away from liking country. I'm not a country fan at all. Um, I'm really R&B and rap all the way. Right now, I'm very into all the female rappers. So Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, I'm, they're always my go-to before games. Um, and then the typical like Drake, um, gotta throw like Chris Brown in there for some R&B. So. Yeah, kind of the popular ones, but those female rappers, I like that vibe right now. Movies actually aren't that big part of my life, but I'm more of a TV series person. So I'll go through Netflix series very quickly. Um, probably my favorites are Prison Break and Suits. Those two are great, but I finished both of them, so I didn't get to watch them during lockdown. So I was just kind of going through all of the new Netflix series during lockdown. Okay, I tried it actually multiple times, but every time I've tried to watch it, I fell asleep. And I'm not somebody that falls asleep during shows. And so I just have not been able to get into it. Even though everyone says it's amazing, it's just, I don't know, some, some reason it just doesn't resonate with me. I love the beach. So anywhere with a nice beach is my favorite. I think probably I got to go to Australia. Um, I loved Australia, would love to go back. So that's definitely up there. Um, Hawaii is top as well. So basically all the places with the nicest beaches. And then I have to also just say home in Colorado, just being in the mountains. I'm very outdoorsy. So really anywhere where I can get outside, whether it's the beach or the mountains, those are always the top of my list. There's actually like three things, I'd have to choose one from it, but um, one of them is, so in America, you can call a timeout at any time when you have the possession of the ball. Over here, the coach has to call it and it has to be the dead ball situation and it really changes the end of the game scenario. So like if you get into a jump ball or like the if you get gain possession of the ball on the ground, you'd call a quick timeout and set up a last play or something. So I miss having that from playing in America. Same, kind of along the same lines, being able to throw it into the backcourt off of like, when you have the sideline out of bounds, being able to catch in the backcourt, can't do that over here. It's, I'm not sure why, but that, it's not that big of a deal, but it's not my favorite. And then the last thing is just, how much of a business it becomes. Like the fact that, you know, as you get climb the levels, the more you realize how much of a business it is. And that side of things is less fun for everybody. And so it's kind of hard to change that. It's kind of, you know, money is involved in getting jobs, all of that. So it's something that probably couldn't be changed, but if it were possible to change, it'd be nice to eliminate some of the business side of things. Um, I'd probably say never lose sight of why you started playing in the first place, uh, just because it becomes such a business, almost like your job. Well, it technically is your job. So um, just never losing sight of why you started playing in the first place, regardless of a tough season, a tough loss, um, whatever it may be, just reverting back to you're playing the game because you love the game. And if you hold on to that, you're always able to push through difficult situations. So in those tough times, just reminding yourself why you love the game, why you're doing this and why it's all worth it. I would try to live in the world of Harry Potter for a day um, and probably play some Quidditch 
because I, I always pictured that being the most fun thing, be able to like fly up in the air. It's physical, I like that element of it. Hand-eye coordination and you're, I mean a little scary, I'm a little scared of heights, so I don't know about that, but it still would be a lot of fun. And just be able to do some magic, I think that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you.